This week, we are with the huge, back from the dead, resurrected ancient molasses dog. Part of our family because my brother was working with somebody who was breeding Great Danes. In the absence of visual records, our memories might lose the vivid details that images provide. Imagine if I shared with you the existence of certain dog breeds in the past. You'd likely request evidence. Interestingly, some dog breeds that once roamed the earth have now faded into oblivion, succumbing to factors such as illnesses and neglect. Embark on a journey with us as we delve into a captivating display of 20 recently discovered photographs capturing the essence of extinct dog breeds. Number 20. Moscow Water Dog the Moscow Water Dog, though it didn't linger in the limelight long enough to become a household name, boasts a captivating tale. Bred by the Soviet Union with the ambitious goal of fashioning the ultimate water rescue canine, this unique breed emerged from a fusion of the Newfoundland, East European Shepherd, and Caucasian Shepherd. The vision was clear. Amalgamate the finest attributes of each lineage to forge a peerless, water-savvy rescue companion. The outcome was a splendidly adorned, double-coated canine, adorned with the gentle temperament inherited from the Newfoundland and the robust work ethic, strength, and fearlessness characteristic of the Eastern European and Caucasian Shepherd. Regrettably, the Moscow Water Dog unveiled unforeseen aggressive tendencies, deviating from its intended purpose of rescuing drowning victims and instead exhibiting a propensity to bite them. Consequently, the breed faced extinction in the 1980s. While specific details about the physical features of the Moscow Water Dog remain somewhat ambiguous, estimates suggest that these were colossal dogs, weighing in at a substantial 110 to 140 pounds and towering between 26 to 30 inches when fully grown. Their dense, fluffy double coat proved ideal for navigating cold waters and enduring inclement weather, though it demanded regular grooming. As for their coloration, brown or black likely dominated, with the possibility of sable, white, and gray coat combinations. Number 19. Bullenbeiser. Let's journey back to the ancient year of 370 AD, where the Bullenbeiser made its grand entrance onto the historical stage. Originating in Germany, this majestic breed swiftly won the admiration of dog enthusiasts across the Holy Roman Empire. Renowned for its prowess in hunting and combat, the Bullenbeiser's legacy echoes through the corridors of time. The German people played a pivotal role in crafting this remarkable breed, ingeniously crossing their powerful mastiffs with counterparts from various regions, including the Irish Wolfhound. Initially known as the German Mastiff, the Bullenbeiser quickly assumed the role of a loyal guardian and fierce protector during times of war. As the years unfolded, the breed's capabilities expanded, giving rise to two distinct varieties within the Bullenbeiser lineage, the Danziger and the Brabanter. The Danziger, a larger and more imposing version, was specifically tailored for military purposes, cattle handling, hunting, and even self-defense. Sporting tall, slender ears and prominent muscular cheeks, they exuded an aura of strength and authority. In contrast, the Brabanter, the smaller counterpart, boasted a similar physique but catered to diverse roles. Like many robust breeds, the Bullenbeiser faced health challenges, particularly with their lean, muscular legs, making them susceptible to conditions such as hip dysplasia and thyroid disease. Despite these setbacks, the Bullenbeiser's enduring spirit and tenacity remained unwavering. Over time, the legacy of the Bullenbeiser transcended its original domain, influencing modern breeds like the Dogo Argentino and the Spanish Bulldog, which bear striking similarities to their ancestral predecessor, a testament to the indelible impact of this legendary breed. Number 18. Cordoba Fighting Dog Delving into the depths of canine history unveils a breed celebrated for its extraordinary strength, resilience, and the profound evolution it sparked in the world of dogs. The Cordoba fighting dog hailing from Argentina mesmerized the global audience with its tenacity and formidable nature, leaving an indelible mark on contemporary canine breeds. This exceptional breed emerged as a fusion of four powerhouse lineages, the Mastiff, Bull Terrier, Bulldog, and Boxer. The resulting blend bestowed upon them an unparalleled mix of strength, agility, and courage, purposefully crafted for the grim practice of dogfighting. While this unfortunate association showcased their remarkable stamina and pain tolerance, it played a significant role in their downfall, ultimately leading to extinction. One defining characteristic of the Cordoba fighting dog was its sheer strength, occasionally manifesting in unintended and tragic ways during the mating process. 
The overwhelming power of the males sometimes led to accidental fatalities among the females, inadvertently contributing to the breed's diminishing numbers and eventual demise. Yet, just as the sun sets to give rise to a new dawn, the Cordoba fighting dog's narrative took an unforeseen turn. From the ashes of extinction emerged a new breed poised to carry on their legacy, the Dogo Argentino. This remarkable transformation was orchestrated through meticulous crossbreeding, blending the Cordoba fighting dog with other substantial breeds like the Great Dane and the Dog de Bordeaux. In this unexpected metamorphosis, the legacy of the Cordoba fighting dog found continuity in the resilient spirit of the Dogo Argentino. Number 17. Russian Tracker In the enchanting expanse of snow-clad Caucasus Mountains, a canine guardian of unparalleled stature and loyalty thrived alongside the Indo-Aryan people, the Russian Tracker. This majestic and formidable breed served as a stalwart protector and herder for centuries, standing nearly 30 inches tall and weighing up to 100 pounds. Revered for their immense size, these noble dogs fearlessly defended herds from the constant threat of wolves and wild bears in the harsh mountain winters. Throughout the annals of time, the Russian tracker earned legendary status, celebrated for its unwavering devotion and remarkable capabilities. This breed played a pivotal role in guarding and guiding the herds of the Indo-Aryan people. Endowed with a resilient nature and robust physique, the Russian tracker possessed the strength and courage necessary to fend off predatory threats lurking in the shadows. One of its most astonishing attributes was its self-sufficiency. Renowned for the ability to survive in vast snowy wilderness for extended periods, these dogs accompanied their flocks for months without external support or human intervention. Their remarkable adaptability and resourcefulness made them invaluable companions to local farmers who relied on their unwavering loyalty and tireless dedication. Dedication. The exact date of the Russian tracker's extinction remains veiled in uncertainty. Historians speculate that the decline of the breed coincided with the advent of modern agricultural practices, and its existence slipped away during the early 20th century. Despite its disappearance, the legacy of the Russian tracker endures in the tales of their indomitable spirit and unwavering commitment to the people they served. Number 16. Molossus the Molossus breed, originating in ancient Greece, has remained enigmatic since its inception, with no definitive records pinpointing its origin. While various speculations abound regarding its roots, one indisputable fact stands out. This breed was meticulously crafted for war and stood as the most powerful canine species of its time. Belonging to the Molossi tribe of Epirus, the Molossus dog carved its place in history as a formidable war companion, renowned for its unwavering loyalty and fearless disposition. These dogs were extensively employed in ancient wars, trained to fight with unyielding resolve, often to the point of death. Their multifaceted capabilities extended beyond the battlefield. Molossus dogs also served as adept guard dogs and skilled hunters, making them a versatile breed for the people of that era. While the physical appearance of the Molossus breed remains predominantly unclear, there is a prevailing belief that they were large and muscular, characterized by thick legs and a broad chest. Alternatively, some posit that they leaned towards a sighthound type, featuring straight, tall legs and long ears. Regardless of their exact form, what remains consistent in historical accounts Accounts, is the breed's reputation for fierceness and ferocity when safeguarding their owners. The Molossus dog, steeped in the mysteries of ancient Greece, leaves an enduring legacy as a symbol of loyalty and indomitable courage in the face of adversity. Number 15. Dogo Cubano the Dogo Cubano, or Cuban Mastiff, stands as one of the most mysterious dog breeds, its past marked by controversy and intrigue. Originally bred for the grim task of hunting down escaped slaves, this breed took an unexpected turn, rising to fame as a sport dog in Spain and England. Its versatile roles encompassed dogfighting, war duties, and guarding, adding layers of complexity to its captivating history. The origins of the Dogo Cubano have been a subject of widespread debate, with theories ranging from connections to Egyptian war dogs to pre-Roman Celts in Britain. However, the prevailing belief ties them to the ancient Molossus war dogs in Greek and Roman armies. The Dogo Cubano, characterized by its massive size, averaging a weight of 136.5 kilograms, earned the distinction of being one of the heaviest dogs in history. Resembling a mastiff or bulldog, it featured a short snout, broad skull, pendant lips, and medium-sized hanging ears. 
Straight backs and legs defined their appearance, while each dog's tail exhibited individual variations. Despite their controversial past, Dogo Cubanos proved loyal to their owners and highly trainable. Their aggression towards other animals, coupled with remarkable strength and muscular build, led to their involvement in dog fighting. Tragically, these dogs were also utilized to attack slaves as a form of punishment, constituting a somber chapter in their history. As time progressed, the popularity of the Dogo Cubano dwindled, eventually fading the breed out of existence. Number 14. Salish Wool Dog Facing a dilemma in their quest for wool, the Coast Salish people of North America ingeniously addressed their need by breeding a distinct canine variety, the Salish Wool Dogs. Lacking access to sheep or goats, these dogs, with their long, white, fluffy fur, became the unconventional solution. The Salish wool dogs played a pivotal role in providing the community with essential items like blankets woven from their unique fur. Annually shorn, these dogs produced long, white, or light brown hair that, owing to its dye acceptance in lighter shades, was easily spun into fine strands, ideal for yarn. Complementing this unconventional source of wool were the mountain goats, adding to the traditional Salish repertoire. British Royal Navy Captain George Vancouver, upon encountering the Salish wool dogs, was awestruck. His notebook records detailed observations, noting their close shearing akin to sheep in England, and the incredibly dense fleeces that allowed one to lift substantial chunks without any separation. The Salish people maintained these small dogs in pens, deliberately isolating them on islands away from the community's other dogs. This separation ensured the preservation of the valued fleece quality. However, as time progressed, the practice declined in the mid-19th century with the advent of sheep wool blankets introduced by the Hudson Bay Company. Sadly, the last known Salish wool dog passed away in 1940. 40, marking the end of a unique canine tradition that had served the Coast Salish people for generations. Number 13. Paisley Terrier Originating from the captivating landscapes of Scotland, the Paisley Terrier emerged as a charming companion for families, utilizing its exceptional vermin hunting skills to safeguard households from the menace of rats. Initially regarded as a distinct variant of the Sky Terrier, this breed gained official recognition from the Kennel Club in 1888. A distinctive feature that contributed to the decline in the Paisley Terrier's popularity was its opulent, long, and silky coat. While undeniably charming, this exquisite mane demanded meticulous care and extensive grooming proving to be an impediment to the breed's practicality as a terrier. The stunning coat hindered their suitability for traditional terrier work, leading to their categorization as toy dogs. Consequently, they found a place more as beloved companions rather than skilled workers. As time marched on, the once-beloved Paisley Terrier gradually faded into obscurity, its popularity diminishing in the early 19th century. Despite the enchanting blue and tan coats that had once captivated the hearts of show dog enthusiasts, they struggled to compete against the rising tide of other breeds. With each passing generation, the dedicated community of Paisley Terrier fans dwindled, marking the end of an era for this delightful and distinctive Scottish breed. Number 12. Sakhalin Husky Introducing the Sakhalin Husky, a captivating canine whose tail unfolds from its glory days to the somber reality of impending extinction. Resembling a mesmerizing blend of an Akita Inu and a Siberian Husky, this breed once adorned the icy landscapes of Russia and northern Japan, serving as a loyal sled and working dog. With a resplendent thick coat rivaling the snow-covered landscapes they traversed, the Sakhalin Husky possessed an undeniable allure. It gained prominence as a trusted companion in cold climates, its endurance and strength proving invaluable, especially during the harsh winters of Russia and northern Japan. Renowned for their sled-pulling capabilities, these dogs became became essential assets for the Soviet Army during World War II, capturing the hearts of soldiers and civilians alike. However, the rise of the Sakhalin Husky was tragically short-lived. The Soviet Army, faced with an unforeseen challenge, discovered the prodigious appetites of these majestic canines, particularly for devouring salmon. Their voracious eating habits became an unsustainable burden, forcing the Soviets into a difficult decision, weighing the cost against utility. With heavy hearts, they made the heart-wrenching choice to significantly reduce the numbers of these magnificent creatures. This fateful decision marked the beginning of a decline that would eventually push the breed perilously close to extinction. Number 11. English White Terrier 
In the realm of dog breeds, the English White Terrier stands out, leaving an indelible mark despite its short-lived existence. Unlike its contemporaries, this unique and peculiar breed was exclusively developed for dog shows, embodying a vision shared by dedicated dog breeders who sought to create a distinct terrier with pointed ears. Regrettably, the legacy of the English White Terrier is entwined with a range of health and behavioral problems stemming from the detrimental effects of inbreeding. A significant portion of these magnificent dogs were born either partially or completely deaf, adding to the challenges they faced in their lives. While some individuals attempted to utilize them as hunters or skilled rat catchers, the breed's genetic afflictions rendered them ill-suited for these tasks, unable to perform to the desired standards. This inherent mismatch between their purpose and capabilities further contributed to their declining popularity among the public. As the years passed, the English White Terrier's genetic woes became increasingly evident, resulting in a steady decline in their numbers. Within a mere three decades of their introduction to the kennel club scene, the breed faced extinction. Despite their brief presence, the English White Terrier story serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between breeding aspirations and the well-being of these canine companions. Number 10. Hare Indian Dog Meet the charming and enigmatic Hare Indian Dog, native to the vast expanse of northern Canada. These dogs were once invaluable to the Hare Indian tribe, serving as adept hunting companions and reliable sled dogs. Despite their significant role, the origin of this breed remains shrouded in mystery, giving rise to multiple theories. One speculation suggests that the Hare Indian dog might have been a wild descendant of the coyote, owing to their pack-like behavior and a howl reminiscent of the wild coyote. On the contrary, another theory posits domestication, citing their friendly and loyal nature towards humans. Yet there's a third theory linking the breed to Viking dogs, suggesting they were brought to northern Canada over 2,000 years ago. Despite the mystery surrounding their origin, the Hare Indian dog was characterized by a slender build, a small head, and thick-skinned ears that stood erect. Their long, thick coats were crucial for surviving the freezing temperatures of the region, and their friendly disposition towards humans only added to their appeal. Unfortunately, with the advent of guns, the Hare Indian dog's role as a hunting and sled dog diminished. This decline led to interbreeding with Newfoundlands and Eskimo dogs, marking a significant shift in the breed's characteristics and contributing to the gradual fading of the Hare Indian dog's distinctive lineage. Number 9. Tweed Water Spaniel Originating from Scotland and named after the river that influenced its heritage, the Tweed Water Spaniel was a devoted and versatile worker, excelling on both land and in water. Recognizable by their short, curly brown coat, cascading tail curls, and endearing floppy ears, these Spaniels quickly gained affection. Celebrated for their love of water, Tweed Water Spaniels were renowned as water dogs, showcasing equal enthusiasm on land. Their expertise in retrieving waterfowl from rivers made them indispensable to fishermen, assisting in bringing nets ashore with agility, intelligence, and unwavering dedication. Unfortunately, as the 19th century neared its end, the Tweed Water Spaniel faced a tragic fate, dwindling in numbers and ultimately becoming extinct. Overuse in breeding programs for golden retrievers contributed to their decline, underscoring the delicate balance between preserving a breed's unique qualities and the consequences of selective breeding practices. Despite their extinction, historical accounts ensure the lasting memory of these remarkable Spaniels. Number 8. Turnspit Dog In the 16th century in Wales and England, dogs, famously known as man's best friend, had a unique role. The turnspit dog, a small and stocky breed, played a crucial role in kitchens by turning the wooden wheel on roasting spits, revolutionizing open fire roasting. Before automated spits, turnspit dogs manually turned cooking wheels for proper meat roasting. Despite their migration to the United States, they faced challenging working conditions, running for hours next to sizzling spits without water access. Their duties extended to grinding grain, churning butter, pumping water, and pressing fruits. However, the invention of spit-powered machines called clock jacks made turnspit dogs obsolete, leading to their extinction by 1900. Despite their challenges, these dogs left a significant mark on historical kitchens, highlighting the unique bond between humans and their canine helpers. Number 7. Tall Tan Bear Dog The Tall Tan Bear Dog, 
a compact and capable canine standing at 17 inches, was a valuable hunting companion for indigenous peoples in northwestern British Columbia, particularly for bear hunting. Despite its name, it was widespread among various First Nations, including the Tlingit, Tagish, Kaska, and Sakani. Known as Our Dog by the Taltan people, the breed earned its name. Legend has it that the Taltan bear dog, magically created to protect the indigenous population, was praised for its bravery, agility, intelligence, and tenacity. Unfortunately, the breed faced extinction in the 1970s or 80s due to factors like modern firearms, illnesses, and breeding neglect, leaving behind an unforgettable legacy. Characterized by a black and white coat, pricked up ears, a pointed snout, and a short, upright tail resembling a shaving brush, the Taltan Bear Dog had a bulky mid-length coat with a rougher neck fur. Measuring 30 to 40.5 centimeters and weighing 4.5 to 8 kilograms, it holds a significant place in the canine history of northwestern British Columbia. Number 6. The Toy Bulldog have you ever delved into the captivating world of the toy bulldog? This charming breed originated from the efforts of dedicated breeders aiming to create a smaller version of the formidable ancient English bulldog for companionship. Despite sincere intentions, the journey to establish the toy bulldog faced unexpected challenges, leading to its regrettable decline. Breeders pursued two approaches to bring the toy bulldog to life. The first involved selectively breeding smaller bulldogs over generations, gradually reducing their size. Unfortunately, this method resulted in offspring with various health issues and significantly diminished fertility compared to their larger ancestors. Undeterred, breeders explored an alternative path by crossbreeding bulldogs with French bulldogs, showing more promising results. However, as time passed, the fate of the toy bulldog became increasingly precarious. Between 1905 and 1925, the breed faced the threat of extinction, leaving only traces of its existence. The term toy bulldog now commonly refers to hybrids between bulldogs and pugs, which, while charming, deviate from the original breed and lack the same lineage or recognition. This story highlights the complexities of breeding efforts, emphasizing the delicate balance between creating new breeds and preserving the well-being and authenticity of these beloved canine companions. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Get ready for a surprising dog moment that might make you rethink what you know about our usual furry friends. Look at this huge dog. Wait, not just big, but as big as a truck or even a house. Yep, you read that right. This massive dog seems to really like its human pals, but could it secretly be a super well-trained guard dog? I'm not trying to be too doubtful, but have you ever seen a dog this huge before? It's almost like a storybook come to life. Dogs aren't usually as big as buildings, are they? But sometimes strange things happen. So viewers, what do you think? Is this enormous dog for real or is it just a tricky trick with our eyes and some clever camera stuff? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Number five, Southern Hound. In the late 1400s, the roots of one of the oldest scent breeds on record, the Southern Hound, were firmly established in Wales and Southern England. These exceptional dogs, equipped with a keen nose capable of discerning the faintest trails, quickly became cherished companions in the pursuit of game. Their remarkable prowess in tracking deer and hare made them the envy of hunters, particularly during the late Renaissance, when hunting emerged as a revered sport among the noble elite. The Southern Hound, celebrated for its diligence and sharp senses, proved to be an exceptional tracker. However, a limitation became evident as these hounds were not ideally built for pursuing swift animals like foxes, which effortlessly darted across the landscape. This posed a challenge for hunters who sought faster companions for their pursuits. This dilemma marked a pivotal chapter in the history of the Southern Hound. Breeders embarked on a mission to enhance the breed's speed by strategically crossing the Southern Hound with faster canines. The objective was to infuse swiftness into the lineage, addressing the need for speed in the pursuit of agile game. While this intentional interbreeding succeeded in producing faster hounds, it regrettably signaled the gradual decline of the pure Southern Hound. By the year 1881, the original strain of Southern Hounds had vanished, leaving behind only echoes of their noble presence. Number 4. Hall's Healer in the challenging landscape of Australia in the 1840s, Thomas Hall undertook the task of driving cattle through the rugged terrain surrounding Sydney. Faced with the harsh climate and demanding conditions, Hall envisioned a hard-working dog that could confront these challenges head-on. 
Thus, Hall's healer, now recognized as the Australian cattle dog, was born. To accomplish this vision, Thomas Hall imported canines from England, carefully selecting mates with the necessary qualities for the arduous work ahead. These dogs were then strategically crossed with domesticated dingoes, a clever and resilient native species. The infusion of dingo blood triggered a remarkable transformation, enhancing the dog's stamina, adaptability, and exceptional working abilities. The development of Hall's healer was a journey shaped by the unique circumstances of 1840s Australia. As breeding efforts progressed, Thomas Hall closely guarded his breeding lines, rarely allowing outsiders to acquire these remarkable dogs. It wasn't until his passing in 1870 that the lineage dispersed, marking the transition from Hall's healer to the modern Australian cattle dog. Number 3. Fuegian Dog in the southernmost part of South America, the Yaghan people did something unconventional by domesticating foxes, resulting in the creation of the Fuijin dog. This unique canid, distinct from typical dogs or domesticated red foxes, had erect ears, a sharp snout, and a thick tail, with fur ranging from tawny to pure white. Weighing between 5 to 13.5 kilograms, these maned dogs earned their name from the gauchos due to their resemblance to the maned wolf. Despite their unique appearance, these dogs lacked unwavering loyalty to their owners, as noted by explorer Julius Popper. While not contributing to guanaco hunting, they showcased hunting skills by pursuing otters and exhibited an endearing habit of gathering around their owners for warmth during winters. Regrettably, the Fuegian dog faced extinction due to aggressive behavior, posing a threat to humans and livestock. Thomas Bridges reported an attack on his mission's goats, and by 1919, Silesian missionary Martin Gusinde found that these once charismatic dogs had vanished, marking the end of their presence in the region. Number 2. Kuri in the past, New Zealand was home to the Kuri, a unique breed that freely roamed the land. These small, short-legged dogs with a fox-like appearance captured the admiration of the Maori people, who valued their presence for centuries. Although the Kuri faced extinction, its legacy left a lasting impression on Maori lives. During the Maori civilization, 13th to 19th centuries, the Kuri was known for its docile nature, despite not being highly skilled in work. Within Maori communities, these dogs played various roles beyond companionship. Their distinct physical features, such as small stature, bushy tails, muzzle-shaped noses, and gracefully falling forward erect ears, made them stand out in the canine landscape. Unfortunately, in the early 19th century, the Kuri's fate turned somber. The breed neared extinction due to interbreeding with European dogs brought to New Zealand. While these foreign canines brought certain benefits, they also contributed to the dilution and disappearance of the cherished Kuri breed. The Kuri story serves as a poignant testament to the intricate dynamics between indigenous breeds and the impact of external influences on their survival. Number 1. Blue Paul Terrier the Blue Paul Terrier, a breed shrouded in mystery and folklore, has an origin story entwined with legends, gypsies, and the infamous pirate Paul Jones. While the exact beginning of the Blue Paul Terrier is debated, one narrative links it to Paul Jones' exploits in the 18th century. According to this story, Paul Jones, the notorious pirate from Galloway, introduced these unique terriers to the gypsies, leaving a lasting impact on their history. The breed got its name as a homage to the pirate, and their distinctive short fur with a dark blue tint led to them being called the Blue Paul Terrier. These dogs became prominent in the world of dogfighting, known for their cunning and unmatched resilience. Resembling modern-day pit dogs, the Blue Paul Terrier gained a reputation for their tenacity in these intense spectacles. Their legacy reflects their maritime origins with Paul Jones and their connection to gypsy culture, making a lasting mark in canine history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.